nicknamed the Rolling Slab, and for good reason. The HAVW A6 Juggernaut was a monstrous rolling giant that struck fear into the galaxy's quintillions of battle droids and their separatist masters. Lee's frontline assault vehicles not only acted as the backbone of the Grand Army of the Republic, specifically during the Battle of Kashyyyk, but they also delivered tremendous firepower in an attempt to overwhelm enemy forces. And while shielded military structures could withstand a lonesome juggernaut's barrage for hour upon hour, unshielded targets were subjected to a pinpoint blast with enough heat to rival that of a nuclear bomb. Moreover, each unit came equipped with dozens of retractable rocket and grenade launchers, as well as enough room to house between 50 and 300 clone troopers depending on its interior configuration. But that's not to say Kuit Drive Yards emphasised offence over defence. In fact, the Juggernaut's thermally conducting armour harmlessly absorbed and spread enemy fire across its massive hull. Despite utilising a graceless system from a seemingly prehistoric age, each of the Juggernaut's ten wheels were pivotal to its success. Firstly, they consisted of three versatile, independently spinning segments, allowing the vehicle to traverse even the most inhospitable terrain all at speeds of 160 km per hour. Secondly, their direct ground contact also afforded the Juggernaut extra protection against electromagnetic attacks and shield discharges alike. Thirdly, by spanning a large area of 49.4 metres by 19.6 metres and thus reducing ground pressure, it became far less prone to sinking in soft soil than heavy walkers. Fourthly, juggernauts could stop and turn in a much smaller radius when compared to repulsor lift crafts. And finally, the wheels of the menacing tanks granted equally powerful forward and rearward motion. This, combined with its two cockpits, sparked many a debate amidst clone troopers as to which side of the vehicle was its front. With enough provisions to last 20 days and fuel for 30,000 kilometres of travel, juggernauts were much more than armoured boxes built around a powerful reactor core and engine. In fact, these rugged hulks provided shelter during elongated engagements, but did you know that they all possessed mighty headlights that scanned terrain using visible and invisible beams of light? Or that an observation post provided greater visibility than was possible at hull heights? How about the the fact pilots wore lighter armour for better articulation while well seated. Finally, did you know that the Juggernaut made use of 12 crew members if you excluded gunners? Well, if you didn't, now you do. So if you've learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. To help out the channel that's a little bit extra, please do consider pledging to our Patreon page, and for all things Inside Star Wars, press that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.